when you when the the stones are singing. Who's doing what now, harmonically on this? That's one well, thing I I've sing. never. You should ask. Right. Uh, well, I have sung, but basically I don't sing. I don't call sort of ooh 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 la 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 mm -hmm. singing. You know, I mean I I just sort of get hung up on instruments because. Mm -hmm. uh, through the last few years, I played an awful lot of instruments, <laughs> and uh, th that's quite a full-time job, sort of keeping your head clear to sort of go from dulcimer mm -hmm. to or the harp to piano to organ to right. guitar and things like that. Well, now you picked that's up all this along, band. haven't you? I mean, as you went along, and you just most of it. But the thing is, uh, I I have um, I can draw on a quite um, an extensive amount of musical training. Mm -hmm. Uh, to play these instruments. I played keyboard instruments from about the age of four and then forgot everything. But I mean, it comes back when I sit at the piano and so it, it does start to come back. And then I studied uh, clarinet and saxophone from uh, the age of 13 until 19. And sort of that has opened a lot of uh, new possibilities as well, you know. Um, Actually, there is uh, some saxophone on the new album, although it's very difficult to tell it's a saxophone because we call it in such a way it just sounds like a sort of... You know, it doesn't really sound like saxophone. Like <laughs> I'm interested in how this is all put together. That, to me, is incredible. Like with the last album, uh, all of these fantastic sounds yeah, well and this m magnificent it's instrumentation. Really, it's really like sort of... Um, got together chaos it, it's you know because uh, we all sort of panicked a little uh, when even bef even as soon as a month before the, re the release date that we uh, had planned we really hadn't got anything together we had all these great things that we did but we couldn't possibly put it out an album so we had we just uh, got them together and did a little bit of editing here and there, but very little actually mm -hmm. we just uh, uh, sort of strung them together with uh, with, with um, more instruments and uh, on top and voices and everything and they really work because whatever people might think about that album it's I think it's very valid as a comment on the Rolling Stones as they were in 1967 and we really did have a tough year with one thing and another and uh, so we were a little freaked out and um, it's a very tangential sort of uh, progress. At least the album represents a sort of progress along a tangent. You know, mm -hmm. um, what we're trying to do now is to get back into orbit, uh, so that we can be, uh, we c we can see and recognize the reality that we uh, are evolving around. Because we can never really be a part of that reality. I don't think after what we have been to, we can never be a part of that reality. We really don't want to be a part of that reality. But at least we can we can see it as it is and comment on it. Mm -hmm. No, I understand that. Mm -hmm. um, so, but what happened with the last album was that we flew off as a tangent right into outer space, and so we were a little lost. We were commenting on things that we didn't really know. We had feelings inside of us, you know, brought around by, you know, what you could call it persecution, if you like, or you could call it, uh, m like, sort of personal misconduct and, and the consequences thereof. Whatever, however you, you, you approach it, and however it's uh, acceptable to other people to sort of... Uh, you know, I mean, that's why I like to sort of give alternative points for you because it's, it's either one thing or the other. You know, it's not a bloody persecution. Well, <laughs> there was meaning, I know, to a lot of people, including myself. <laughs> uh, even if, if you say you did go off into a kind of a chaotic situation, a lot of it I mean, really, I mean, sort of. I mean, that that cat who wrote in uh, Newsweek, uh, Jack Crow is a Jack Crow. He wrote, um, although it might appear to some to be a little pretentious the review he gave us in the New Year issue of Newsweek. It was very beautiful and very nice to read. I read it in Solano. I haven't seen it. It was just out? And, uh, no, it was the New Year edition of Newsweek. Uh, New Year's Week. <laughs> what? Newsweek. Right. Um, yeah, and, uh, but, uh, you know, he was really hung up on that singer song altogether and called the Stravinsky-esque and uh, lots of other very sort of Maybe pretentious, but I don't think he meant it pretentiously. So, epithets, you know. Uh, I'm very grateful to him, and because it was written, I mean, when I I don't think personally it was I, I, pretentious, but I have heard comments, you know. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Um, uh, 
I'm sure you even said, but it's not, you know, people are digging it. It's doing, uh, it's number two at the moment in the States, I believe. Yeah, right. It can't be bad. That means that people realize what happened to produce this state of affairs, you know, whereby we were recording such weird, you know, it's like, it's almost a non album. You know what I mean? To negativity, don't pull you through. Well, there's so many, there's so many different things in it. I mean, the negativity, uh, don't pull you through. I mean, really, <laughs> you know, you've got to get, got to get back in there and, sort of, as I say, revolve around the reality that we know is there. We we know it's very important to be able to comment on it and to see it. We can't go so far out. To, you know, I mean, that's just sort of like a one-way journey to flipping out. You know, that's no good. Where do you think you're heading now? Do you have any idea? Well, we're heading back into orbit. Back into orbit. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that, that, that's very, very loose. Term. It's just a little analogy that I'm using, you know. Right. Um, it doesn't mean to say that we're going to go back to what we were, because we couldn't. I mean, after experiencing the things we have, and after having played and produced the records that we have, we can't possibly go back to that. But we can go back and get the funky, essential essence, you know. And, and still use um, any sort of developments that we might have made, you know, sort of to advantage, you know. I mean, sort of bring everything in, bring everything in, you know. Yeah. But get back to a little more funky sort of jump and bang, jump and bang, you know. But you see, yeah, it's great. <laughs> We're just about to the end of the tape, too. Well, that's just about, um, just about the end of my... <laughs>